this is Fred from Obedia, and today we're going to talk about using uh, Cubase with Reason um, via Rewire, Rewire being the focus. I've got a blank Cubase project here booted up already, so let's just open that. Nothing going on. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go to my Devices menu and enable the Reason Rewire input. You can see here that there are other applications that work via Rewire, like Acid, Ableton, and FL Studio. But in this case, we're going to focus on Reason. So I'll just click on that. And that opens up this window here, where there's actually the possibility of 64 individual inputs from Reason. Uh, we won't need to do that right now, but I'm just going to enable the uh, first two inputs, or the mixed left and mixed right inputs. And then I'll close that window. And you can see right here already, there's actually an input fader uh, that's ready to accept input from Reason once we boot it. If we have a look at the mixer, we can see that right here, too. Okay, so now what we want to do is actually boot up Reason, which I'll do from my uh, quick start menu down here in Windows. Now there's Reason booted up. And this is a default rack that I have uh, prepared here. And in this case, I've just got a read drum uh, or red rum and a uh, sampler here, but I've actually prepared something with a few more instruments in it, so I'll just go ahead and open that. I called it synth rack. And there it is right there. And what we've got here is actually a red drum module, an NNXT module, subtractor, Maelstrom, and Thor. Now in this example I'm just going to show you how to use uh, Reason as a virtual synth rack. So clicking back over to Cubase, uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a MIDI track. And I'm going to set well, actually, its first output's already set to the uh, NNXT. I'm just going to enable the input by record enabling, and I've got a MIDI keyboard right here. So uh, that's the NNXT, and that's a piano sound. But now, when you click on the output portion of that MIDI track in Cubase, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of other stuff in here, including the Reason Maelstrom, Thor, Subtractor, and Redrum. So I'll just choose Subtractor right here, and then we'll see we've got... Now we're triggering Subtractor. Let's just have a look at... Uh, here's Subtractor on the Reason Mixer. I'll go back to Cubase. I'll choose uh, Thor. Go back to Reason. We have Thor in the Reason Mixer here. So in short, uh, Reason can be used as a great virtual synth rack. If I add more MIDI tracks and record enable them, I can set their outputs to other Reason sounds. So we've got Piano here. And Thor here. Now something you may have noticed before is the fact that when I'm playing some of these keys, we're actually getting a couple of instruments playing at the same time. Now if you listen carefully, you can actually hear some drum sounds mixed in there with Thor. Maybe I'll just do it with the piano. It's a little easier to hear. Now this is a common problem when using Reason via Rewire. And the reason why that's happening is that in Reason itself, we've actually got a master keyboard enabled for input. So what's going on with my keyboard at the moment is that Cubase is seeing it, but so is Reason outside of Cubase. And the reason that's happening is because in my preferences, in Reason, if 
I go to the Keyboards and Control Surfaces page, you'll see that I've got, as would be expected, a master keyboard assigned. And so what's going on here is Reason and Cubase are seeing input from this device at the same time. So when I'm using Reason as a rewire device, I actually don't want this there. So what I'm going to do is delete this master keyboard. Now it's really not a big deal. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Uh, I can always come back in here to Reason if I'm using it in standalone mode as opposed to a rewire device. I can always just come back in here, go to the preferences, click add, and so on and so forth. But I don't want to do that right now. So let's just see if that worked. So I've got my Thor synth here, or rather my NNXT, and my Thor here. So going back to the piano sound, I'm going to play down where those drum sounds were happening by accident. And we can see that that's not happening anymore. Now, if I do want drum sounds, I've got the re-drum in there. So I'll just add a, yet another MIDI track, enable its input, and have its output go to Red Rum. And there we go. So, we've got Cubase and Reason working together via Rewire. Thanks for watching.